Something we haven't taken care of is our slug field. So if we head over to our post.php, we discover that our slug field is not in our fillable fields, okay? And we're gonna be filling that in. So I'll say, let the slug be fillable. Next thing in our post controller, when we are storing a post, we'd like to actually include the slug field, okay? So right here, I'm just gonna say slug, and this slug field is gonna be something like this. So if the title of the post was create new Laravel project, the slug version is gonna be something like create, and then a hyphen, a new, and Laravel, and then project. Okay, so it's gonna remove all caps and it's gonna put hyphens between the words and all that. Okay, so if it was level 5.3, it's gonna show us level 5.3, right there, something like that. Okay, so but level has a helper method for us to generate the slug from a string. So what we're gonna do is use the string slug method that level provides us and we're gonna pass in the request title. Okay. So we get the slug by actually using the request title and generating the slug for that. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to create a new post. But right here, we're not gonna be DDing. Let's just return a redirect for the user back. Okay, so let's see how that works. Let's try to create one, upload a new image, select WordPress 7, put in some content, store post, and you see post created successfully. Let's check out a post in our database. So I'll say PHP Arisan Tinker and we'll say app post and we'll just say get the first result. Okay, so if you look at that, we discover our deleted ad is null and our slug just looks the same. But let's create a post that will make the slug actually look something different. Okay, so I'll upload that image. I'll select this category and put in some content. So this should actually look like a slug next time. Post created successfully. Let's get all the results. So app post all. So look at that. So the slug was generated for us and that's the slug for this string right here. So everything seems to be working correctly. Thank you and see you in the next video. <laughs>